This is the home of Eugene Spataris in the suburbs of Athens. It houses the history of the shadow play. Eugene's father, Sotiris, resurrected the age-old art of the shadow play at the turn of the century. Its golden era was between 1924 and 1944, when Sotiris was at the peak of his powers and popularity. Today, Eugene carries on his father's work. First, he draws the figure on a piece of leather. Then he cuts it out as a silhouette. And finally, he punches it full of holes that will allow light to pass through the puppet. Eugene has a fascinating collection of these two-dimensional puppets and various renderings of the shadow theater hero, Karadiosis. Traditionally, the shadow play performers travel from one town to another, set up their portable stage, and the show is on. <laughs> Behind the translucent screen, Eugene moves the puppets on sticks. They're lighted from below. <laughs> There's more to a shadow play than just manipulating leather puppets on sticks. Successful players must be mimes, singers, actors, and comedians. The puppets are made, the movements rehearsed, and the stage is ready. There's just one more thing necessary before the show can begin. The audience. Karadiosis, the figure on the left, always seems to be getting into trouble. Don't worry about him. He can take care of himself. Because Karadiosis, which translates as black eye, is the hero of the Greek shadow theater. Karadiosis, like Charlie Chaplin, is always in trouble. Shadow play performers were once viewed as beggars, tramps, and thieves, persecuted by police and officials. The play being performed is called The Magic Tree. In a world of shadows, the players carry on the Greek classical play tradition that began more than 2,000 years ago. Here in Greece, you don't have to go to the theater because the theater comes to you. And you've seen it in action because you asked for it. <laughs> 